KCTigers.com here with head coach Jessica Kern after um, the game against Moorhead Saint on Thursday night. Um, coach, just give us an opening statement and then we're going to open it up for questions. Yeah, I definitely want to start um, not addressing the game per se, but the cause to the game. Um, Play for K is something that I, since I've got into collegiate athletics that I've been pretty adamant about. Um, and the one thing I think when people think about Play for K, they just think about breast cancer. But this is several different forms of cancer that affect, affect everybody, probably on all parts of our family. It was a great turnout tonight. Uh, for those people that don't know, for every free throw we made, we were donating money. Um, and we've also had outside, outside entities that have donated as well. So I just want to say thank you um, to the people that this game was really emotionally, um, some emotionally an investment for them. Um, and so I was very pleased with the turnout. Um, now to switch gears over, um, you know, Moorhead is the number two rebounding team in the country. So for us to have 45 rebounds, um, is a great thing, you know, and I said it before, I'll say it again. We walk by faith around here, not by sight. That's the only thing keeping us grounded and ready to go to the next. Um, and those are also babies in the locker room. And sometimes, even with tough losses like this, two games within 18 seconds, we lose. You got to go love up on babies. And they're still babies. So I appreciate their effort. Four players in double digits, 90% from the free throw line. You keep looking at this stat line and you're happy as a coach because you're growing. They need the validation of a win. The blessing is these things pan out crazy in the standings we play on Saturday. All right, uh, what can you say about the uh, just the, the energy Maxine Beer came out with tonight? Yeah, I think it's starting to resonate. There's something to be said about a senior when you know the clock is ticking. And for Max, Saturday is her last stand on this court. That hits you somewhere. Max has had a journey with coaching changes, being on the roster, being off the roster. Um, the kid's a 4.0 kid in the classroom, you know, and I think she's finally realizing in order for people to follow, I've got to lead. And so that's taxing emotionally and physically. And I think she fizzled out just a little bit in the second half because it's a lot. It's a lot to put on your back, but I'm proud of her. I'm proud of the task we've given her. If you notice, Maxine Beer holds everyone's top defender at the guard position, her and Asia Sims. So hats off to her. I think she gave us all she had tonight. As far as the, uh, the defensive uh, strategy, I noticed to come out with a little bit of a sagging man today. Was that a, you know, Kind of, you know, scouting in terms of more history. You're trying to get me to put my scouting report on film. <laughs> no, there, if you look statistically at our league this year, pure shooting is down. That's just the reality of the situation. And so we want to work to our strong point, which tonight we proved our strong point is rebounding. It is. And defending, getting out in transition, not having to get set. So after looking at the first game where we pressed up quite a bit and they got a lot of naked layups on the backside, we decided to keep it in the half court. Unfortunately, when we took quick shots, they got transition buckets anyway. So, but yes, that was the game plan. Um, as far as the quick start for just the team in general, uh, was that a more of an emphasis this week? It is, it is. Um, we've, again, um, constantly been coming to quarters like we started this one slow. We didn't finish this one well. And we're trying to just play an entire game. You know, we're 69 possessions. That's 19 over where we want to be. Quick shots. Think about how many quick ones we took. Quick shots, quick rebounds. We've got to minimize that. So what do we do? We live to play another day and we go to the film. And I think they know. They know that this one was right there. And so the good part is we're growing. No, definitely uh, a lot of uh, probably feelings of sadness or frustration in the locker room. Uh, how do you keep building on you know, how, how much better you've gotten during the season? Um, you continue to point out the positives with kids. Um, I think it's very important to validate young people. They put in hours in and nights and are consistently like Taylor Williams didn't play tonight and unfortunately she's sick. That's a part of the freshman experience. Your body eventually needs a rest and you know that was our other outside shooter. And so the growth and what I've had to show the season vets statistically and on paper Yes, the wins may not be where you want to be, but look at statistically how we're a much better team than last year. We've got key players in top five, top two in every major offensive category in this league. Nobody wants to play TSU. I get that. Um, and I mentioned to you guys earlier, we had a homegrown commit um, that committed to us today. So after a tough loss, that's exactly what you need as a coach to validate you moving forward. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.